And hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have a very awesome reading. We do, and uh, somebody here, uh, Sagittarius, we have this emotional freedom card. Let's adjust the camera here. There we go. And, you know, this card talks about somebody who is <clears throat> lonely without you. Like, they took a look at life and they said, you know, <clears throat> sometimes people can feel trapped in a union. Your person could have felt trapped in a union with somebody. They could, right? <clears throat> it's possible. And, uh, but this talks about like, I'll really be emotionally free. Like this is nagging at them that they're not with you. Yeah, that's really what it's about. They miss you so much that they want to be set free by your love. It's really all about that. And here's Pegasus, right? And he's, you know, running here and kind of approaching the rabbit. And then the owl is there. This is wisdom. And we also have these two cards that speak of wisdom here, instinct and confusion. You could be saying, how, how does confusion? But these cards, uh, <clears throat> it does. It talks about enlightenment. And we'll get there uh, in just a moment, right? We start the reading with forgiveness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this person wants to be forgived and, you know, maybe they need to, or they are forgiving themselves. I feel like they are, but <clears throat> I really feel like this person wants you to forgive them. Yeah, they do. And so this one says, I am forgiven. I forgive myself, but you know, uh, mm -hmm. I feel like they probably did something here in the past. I, I feel like they probably have. Then we have abundance, and then we have this emotional freedom card. This person wants you to set them free, Sagittarius, and uh, get ready, right? And, and really just basically uh, be open to a union with them. Oh, be open to this abundance. I feel like this person wants to offer you this abundance. Yeah, they do. Yeah, and here is the fairy, <clears throat> the angel. She's dropping all this, uh, these beautiful stars. Uh, kind of like into the stream here, sort of, but there's all these gems and, you know, uh, yeah, jewels and gems and flowers and pearls and etc. etc. right? Yeah, it's really beautiful here. Crystals, mm -hmm, diamonds that are kind of growing out here. Let's see what they say about the abundance card. It's a number one, so anything that has a one on it is about... Uh, about a new start or a new beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, use your existing abundance to create beautiful things in your life and you will be rewarded in more ways than you can imagine. Are you living an abundant life? If so, how do you measure abundance? This talks about uh, creating the right, the healthy level of material abundance too. Mm -hmm. I just feel like this person, this talks about uh, longing for a soulmate. Mm -hmm. It's your willingness to appreciate, acknowledge, and accept yourself that allows you to feel more abundant and will help you manifest a partner. Mm -hmm. In a relationship, your abundance of health, friendships, and mindset will bring joy to your partnership as well as more love. I do believe that that's what, that's what this is about. This person is longing for you. Yeah, they are. And you're going to set them free, Sagittarius. You are. Uh, if you want them, you're, they're going to set sail with you. Yeah, Atlantis. That's, I mean, I couldn't help but think of that song here, right? Where, you know, he says, set sail with me, misty lady. Set my spirit free. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Those are the days, I believe, of uh, more romantic music. Yeah. They didn't sit there and swear up and down and say nasty things. No, they didn't. So we have instinct and confusion. And uh, <clears throat> mm -hmm. let's have a look at instinct and confusion, right? And these cards I uh, have said are about an awakening or your intuition and things like that. Uh, let's see what they speak about uh, on their own, right? Mm -hmm. Patty the Bell sings, <laughs> right? Couldn't help it. She sings that with Michael. Michael Mix, somebody. Let's see what it says. He used to be uh, with the Doobie Brothers. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you guys know all that. And let's see what we have. And the instinct card is the first one. This person just knows you're a soulmate because this emotional freedom card talks about uh, this abundance card. It talks about longing for your soulmate. And this emotional freedom card talks about setting yourself free by being with your, your soulmate, like being with the one you really want, right? Yes. And we know that can really set your spirit free. And uh, let's see what they say here. This is just, 
they're showing the wolves here this person knows that you are a soulmate there is a guide inside us mm -hmm. yeah this is interesting personal inquiry how can i master letting go and move on do i trust my inner guidance this person may be wanting to move on from somebody sagittarius they could because there's some type of awakening here in this reading that has happened and i don't even think it happened recently but maybe for some right but <clears throat> they have uh, awakened here that you are the only one who can set them free here yeah this is really kind of it's, it's deep i feel like it is <clears throat> and so your instinct is finely tuned so why doubt it your journey is guided yeah and but they're trying to let somebody go here so here th this is what they're trying to do instinct guides awakening solitary journey you see spirit lies on the road ahead led by spirit following your instinct yeah this person here is guided it's protected though their journey and here we have confusion with it and this is all about uh your intuition as well it is or you know your spirituality your understanding and let's find the confusion card let's not be confused about it no <laughs> my terrible joke right and every silver lining has a cloud. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, this your person's trying to be on this journey to come be with you. And they are telling themselves every cloud, every sil silver lining. Wow, every silver lining has a cloud. Yeah, they're a little afraid here. But I feel like what they're saying to themselves is that this is worth it. Like they're trying to let go of something here and that, you know, every silver like there's a cloud everything that you want in this world is like it's there's nothing easy that's what this uh lesson is here right they're telling themselves well i gotta let go of somebody this is really hard but every cloud has a silver lining like when i'm done with the cloud right <laughs> and all these clouds are here around him all this yeah all these clouds are encircling him when i'm done with the cloud then i will have my silver lining yes through the willingness to be in confusion, we find clarity. Yeah, this person has allowed themselves, uh, Sagittarius, to really see. To really see what they want in their life. What they need with this emotional freedom. You, they want you to set them free. You know, Sagittarius, I feel like they want you to set them free in a few ways here. I really do. Mm -hmm. Sexually, too. Clarity, support, revelation. Yeah. Mm-hmm allowing confusion consequences of actions finding love spiritual support yeah and this is can i see confusion as a good thing can i learn to let go of needing an immediate outcome they're letting go of somebody here and they're like they're concerned about the immediate outcome like they're going to be alone and they're going to feel like kind of like they're in the unknown that's what the confusion card you know like, gee, here I am in the unknown and I'm kind of afraid and <clears throat> Sagittarius, I have to go through this kind of time of suspension, like between two unions, kind of. That's how it looks. And they look like they're leaving something like serious because it looks like a serious journey away from this person. Not just, hey, let me just say, hey, hey, you know. Hey, Roseanne, uh, I'm leaving, you know, or something like that. No, it's not like that at all. So let's find the vanity card here uh, where these people are drinking and they're listening to this man talk about something. And he looks, <coughs> you guys can, uh, I don't know how, he looks weird, kind of. Uh, okay, so this is, yeah, they're listening to his, kind of like his BS, kind of. But maybe he's not he looks more like a healer type of guy and here they are drinking with but they're dressed beautifully this talks about somebody who thinks or who thought that they need a lot of material abundance to be happy i need more better bigger yes that will make me okay mm -hmm. we all say we will stop when we have enough but there's never enough you may be looking outside yourself for validation yeah maybe your person's living this uh kind of financial dream sort of but their emotional dream is with you for sure it is it looks like they're in uh, a relationship of convenience am i feeling disconnected from any people in my life am i growing away from limiting relationships that's what they're doing environmental tension living in illusion self-doubt power to change lesser companions look at that this is somebody that they have outgrown 
a lesser companion, right? Empty conversations, faith, awareness, and transformation. Yeah. And we have the doll. This talks about old wounds, Sagittarius. This is a deep reading. I can tell you right now, uh, you know, uh, it is. And so this doll talks about childhood wounds usually. In other words, maybe you guys have some past wounds that you need to heal together. It can talk about somebody who has some, maybe they didn't have enough money in their life and they grew up broke and they thought, well, that's, that's the only thing that's really important is a whole bunch of money. It's possible, right? Because whatever you are lacking in your life, sometimes you seek it. And sometimes that lack can make you so used to it that you, that you go to the other extreme and that is now your life. The same thing, right? Repeating the pattern of lack or whatever it is that, you know, whatever it is. And we have the noose card. This is self-sabotage and here's the mushrooms. And this is, uh, like it can be the little details, but it can be quiet growth, like overnight growth, the way mushrooms grow, you know, one day you look at your lawn, uh, it's Monday and then two, and there's no mushrooms and Tuesday, there's a whole little family of mushrooms. You're like, what the hell? Right. I feel like this person self-sabotaged this because they didn't understand what real love was. That's really what this is. Or that they didn't understand that they really loved you. And maybe they just went to go be in some relationship with somebody who is, I don't know, somebody that they have outgrown. Maybe somebody who's rich, who like helped them, right? possibly or like you know help them build this they look like they have a financial empire or at least some stability that they were clinging to i feel like this person knows that they were confused about their choices like at the time it might have been a good choice but they've grown let's see what we have sagittarius yeah and uh the bottom of the deck here is temperance mm -hmm. uh in this particular deck yeah and uh Let's see what we have, Sagittarius, and uh, mm -hmm. and we have the Wheel of Fortune. I, I can't uh, help but think this is you. Here's the Page of Cups, and that's his back, right? Let's fix the camera a little bit. Oh, you guys can see just fine. All right, let's have a look at because this is all about you. Yeah, it definitely is. And the World card. We know the World card is an ending, and a new beginning, and a major wish fulfillment. Uh, in most cases, it's also learning and coming full circle. And that's what this person has done. They have come full circle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this temperance here can be transformation. And, you know, it's seen as transformation because the angel is here, right? Yeah. And so this is peace, right? Harmony. Mm -hmm. Virtue. Virtue talks about something that is, you know, made from like love and humility and something very good right? Yeah. I mean, they have lately, they have, you know, used things to, uh, trying to act like they were trying to be virtuous, but they weren't, I'm not talking about your person either. So virtue is a beautiful thing, right? Yes. Virtue is. And, um, the more of it, the more humility, uh, the more, the more brotherhood we have in this world, right? Yeah. And so we all need that. We do all of us, all the people, right. Need to come together uh, more, more so than they are. And the wheel of fortune is here, Sagittarius. And you know, that wheel is you. And it is also the passing of time. This is divine timing, right? And cycle and cycles in good luck. Of course it's change. They want change. This person wants harmony with you. They do. <clears throat> and I feel like they are becoming very virtuous, like with integrity, and honesty <coughs> and all the things that virtue brings, right? Let's look at the, uh, and here is the page of cups. He's called the knave and the knave is bringing new news, bringing news, not new news. <laughs> uh, how redundant is that? Right. Uh, but they're bringing you news, Sagittarius, that they trust this and that they believe this is divine timing. Yeah. And that they believe that you're like, you're the one, you're the only one here, Sagittarius, that can set them free. I'm pretty sure here. Yeah. So let's get into the reading and, uh, let's get another deck and see what we have for Sagittarius. 
Mm -hmm. And their person. For sure this is about you and somebody else. Yeah, you can't do this all by yourself, Sagittarius. No, you can't. As great as you are, right? Let's see what we have. Wow, we're at 15 minutes. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius. For Sagittarius. The Five of Pentacles. The King of Wands. That is you. We have the Ace of Wands coming into play. This is a new opportunity, a passionate new opportunity. Mm -hmm. And then we have the Nine of Cups. And this is in the past. You are this person's wish in the past. Maybe they didn't realize it. It's possible. This could be what they have already decided here or put in the past. They may have been your wish in the past. They could have left you out. Here's the five of pentacles. But this five of pentacles in this reading, this is the current energy, I believe. So, so they're leaving somebody out here. And remember, uh, the instinct card or the confusion card, I believe, talks about how can I let somebody go here? And what you want is the moon or... This is what's helping you. Mm -hmm. there, this person's probably trusting their intuition with the moon. Uh, let's see. What's helping you is this cycle of divine timing. That's what's helping you here. Yeah. Let's see. And we have the hanged man, the tower the queen of swords, and we have the wheel of fortune once again. So in the heart of the matter is uh, somebody's being left out here, or this person feels a major lack without you. And I feel like it's both. Ace of cups reversed. Somebody's being left out here. For sure they are. And coming into play is the ace of wands and the seven of wands. This is somebody who's overwhelmed about a passionate new opportunity with you. Yeah, and that is your person here. And they, I feel like they have self-sabotaged them in some type of a way that you are seen as a missed opportunity. I'm pretty sure that's, uh, that's like, what's going on? And so... The Nine of Cups is in the past with the Two of Wands. This person might have been at a crossroads or you were in the past about this. And this is a choice that has been made, the Two of Wands. It's a choice how you're going to live your life or with whom, right? And this moon is what you want. The Ten of Swords, OMG. Or this is what's helping you. There's an ending here that's helping you. I feel like you're, you're meant to be with this person and that you love this person and you want them. This could be you here with the five of pentacles. You felt a lack without them and you felt like you couldn't have your, your, your cup, your cup of love here, the ace of cups. You felt like you couldn't have like a new beginning, like a real opportunity with them. It's, this is probably saying you, how, how you felt here. It could be their energy as well, right? It definitely could. Uh, and here's this moon right here. Let's get a Lenormand card. I'm just curious here. Let's see what we have. This is what's helping you. This person could be sad without you. And so they have ended something. The moon can talk about sadness. And we have the rider. And here she is riding into town with her kind of bathing suit outfit on, right? She has like the drape over it, whatever. But you know, this is a new beginning. It's the number one over the rainbow, but this is somebody, this is helping you. This person uh, is going to contact you here, but I feel like this person thinks that they really want this new beginning with you. Yeah. Wow. You could be expecting this. You could be expecting them maybe to end something over here and just come on into town here. This can be, you know, she's kind of coming, arriving into town, but they might live just, you know, close by or something. I'm not sure where they live, but uh, this is what's helping you here. This person uh, sees you like as like a rainbow in their life. There's a rainbow here on this card.
I feel like what's helping you is, yeah, they felt sad without you and they are ending something here. And the official person, mm -hmm, maybe this is what you want. Maybe this is helping you to marry this person. Possibly the official person can be somebody who is, it could be some type of marriage, but uh, this is somebody who's usually honored here, the official person. This could be your person who was married. The official person with the Ten of Swords are ending their marriage. They could. Or a marriage type union. And the Six of Pentacles is in the near future. This is give and take that you're going to be able to have with this person. Five of Cups. This is in the near future. This is an ending for them, not you. You're going to set them free. If you take them, they're, they're afraid here because we have the noose in the reading, which is like a con like fear or feeling threatened. I feel like they, they feel threatened because maybe they sabotaged you in the past or they sabotage themselves. That's how I see this. And we have uh, the hanged man and this is your advice and the three of swords. Yeah, there's heartbreak here or there is a third party and it clearly seems like there's a third party here. This could be how you're being affected and that they are sacrificing somebody here. Three of swords with the hanged man. Let's get another card. OMG. Four of swords. Yeah, you're being affected. This person wants to heal this with you and recover this with you. They want to recover this for themselves. This person is like unhappy without you, clearly. And the tower is in your environment. And this is... Or this is how you are affecting them. Yeah, you put them through a hell of a tower. For sure you did. Maybe you think saying to them, saying to yourself, that's what they get. Six of Wands reverse. This is how you affect them. This is a defeat in their life. This is their ending. This is them defeating another situation where there is no victory anymore because of you or because of their love for you, I should say. Not, be, you know. This is in your environment. This could be them telling you here as this writer. Yes. Yeah, this could be here. The writer is here like a messenger. This could be them, the tower, bringing you a shocking revelation that they have defeated their union. Like they're, they're not together. Let's get another card here in your environment. I feel like that's, that's it. And nine of swords. This is how you affect this person. They're worried here. Yeah, I told you. They're sad. Nine of swords. She's crying in bed. So they're worried here. Mm-hmm. Because they're, they're destroying their relationship here, the tower. And they're worried that you might not want them. Because of... They look like they were maybe a real dick in the past. They could have been. Right? Yeah, definitely. And here's the queen of swords in your hopes and fears. The chariot. Yeah, you're discerning. Are we going to have movement? Are we going to get the show on the road? Right? Get this party started. And in your outcome, Sagittarius, is the Wheel of Fortune. Can you guys see these cards? Yeah, this thing is like tighter now. And yeah, in your outcome is the Wheel of Fortune in the upright. This is divine timing coming together. It is coming into play. And the moon. I feel like this moon means that somebody feels really upset here, right? Like these dogs are howling. They, this is your person feeling really upset, but this is also more timing. This is a cycle ending here. These are new cycles with the moon. And you're gonna, this is fate and destiny coming, happening for you. It is. Let's see what else we have. OMG. And judgment. You see, this is rebirth. Wow. So we're going to go to your person's extended. I want to see their take on this. And their first card in their oracle reading is the doll. And this is childhood wounds, illusions. They could have done something to you and played mind games with you. Illusions, possibly. Uh, but, you know, they might have their own childhood wounds here because this person has learned that love is not what they thought it was. 
Yeah, the love is not based on money. Love is something else, something magical where two people respect each other. Yeah, and you know, they it's easy for them to have a give and take union. That's real love, right? The noose card challenges them. This is self-sabotage uh, or conflict. This also, uh, this can support them. This is anxiety, threat, and self-sabotage. Well, it's challenging them for sure. <laughs> But it could be supporting them, possibly. They could have learned here with the self-sabotage. They could have. Because there's a definite, like, they could have sabotaged themselves and they grew up. And that's why this is supporting them. Yeah, I'm, yeah. And here's the mushrooms. And this shows up why it's all happening for them. This is quiet peaceful but overnight growth that's what's going on here mm -hmm. the hidden yeah this is they've been hiding their love for you right here Sagittarius and they didn't know it in the beginning they were just being looks like they were being a real ass all right no digs on anybody out there <laughs> but you know we all grow up right yeah we all do and you know some of us have to learn the hard the hard way yeah it's called the school of hard knocks it sure is and uh it's the best teacher i can say that we're going to end this reading i, I want to see this reading uh this is going to be a 10 card spread mm -hmm. i want to see why this person feels so threatened right we might be able to see that there we're going to also see their tarot spread with their wishes, their hopes and fears, and their environment, their advice, what they're leaving behind, what they are focusing on, what's coming in for them, uh, and what's helping them. Yeah, and, uh, and more. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. And I have the link below in the description box, Sagittarius. They're all super affordable. And thank you so much for joining me here today. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.